Good afternoon, this is Bruce. Uh, welcome to my shop. Uh, I'm going to show you how I drill uh, and tap uh, this uh, tie rod, uh, or you could call it either the tie rod pro project or the case of the bent shaft. Um, now I've set up the angle head, or as some call it, the horizontal head. I've set that up on the quill um, and what I did was I, to be able to make sure that it was running parallel with the um, uh, with the table, I dialed it in. I set I set up the dial gauge, and these uh, these units are provided with a flat surface as a um, as a guide to parallelism. So I set up. I set up the unit. Um, as such, and dialed it in, trammed, <coughs> trammed the table backwards and forwards and dialed it in, and I'm within um, uh, about two thou, which is more than accurate enough for this particular job. Uh, once I had that locked in place, um, and that was by these two locking screws here, then I was ready to get the centre. Um, now to center up the um, center up the shaft, I used the height gauge, and I and I measured the height gauge across on the top and the bottom, halved that, and then used the height gauge on the bluing to mark the to mark the horizontal center line. I then then measured. And set the um, the combination square up to that centre, and then just rotated it and marked the centre in the other direction. And I'm just about to complete to complete the um, uh, the starter drill, and then we'll progressively drill up. We need to get to 23.9 millimetre diameter, um, which is pretty close to 15 sixteenths. And because you always get that little bit of wobble in a, in a um, in a twist drill, uh, that will probably be enough. In the mail uh, tomorrow, I should get receive the tap. It's a one inch uh, 16 TPI tap, which is mainly used for automotive. Um, and so we'll progressively go up. We'll drill, we'll drill the pilot uh, pilot hole, which is a six millimeter, then a 12 millimeter, uh, and then we're going to use a 15 16 uh, to the depth I need to go in 45 millimetres um, and that will be ready then for tapping tomorrow when I get the tap. So we'll progress from here. Um, it's a lot slower drilling drilling this way than it is normally um, because of um, you have less rigidity in the in the system with this extra arm on it. So we'll give her a go. Hopefully that won't interfere with the camera work. Should be okay. Fan set up and set set the the X to zero. That's set to zero, and we'll advance that through.
this, um, this bar is a forging, but it has similar characteristics uh, when you cut and drill it as free cutting material. Um, not so difficult to machine. Okay, we're at depth there. We've reached that depth. We'll now go for the larger, larger hole. I'll switch to uh, the coolant rather than the cutting oil. It's running out, but it had here mum's milk on that. the depth there, very successful. Let's see how we go with this one. Until we get a bite, we're going to be noisy. Short of power, but we're working on a very low frequency, 
so uh, that has a detrimental effect on the market, but it's good because it doesn't jam. Mum's milk. This one's the pump. There we go. This has got a bit more in it. set up here until tomorrow when I get the um, uh, get the tap and I'll be able to tap that thread and we're now going to go on to the next stage of this project and that is to machine up a um, to, to machine up the other part the, the knuckle area the knuckle on the on the lathe. <laughs> 